A 98-year-old Madison woman appears to be the latest target of a scam that's causing a lot of stress for her family. NBC 15's Sharon Yu joins us with details of how and when this started. Sharon? John, since the beginning of summer, Louise Clark's family says she's been receiving notices that she owes hundreds of dollars to a loan company. Her family says she never took out that loan, but the notice has been coming every month with tripling figures, causing distress to everyone involved. She said, oh, they're accusing me of fraud. That's what 98-year-old Louise Clark told her daughter-in-law back in June when she got a notice that she owed Speedy Cash over $300. I keep track of her accounts just to monitor them. And I looked back even as far as two years, and I saw nothing on her credit card or her checking accounts. Uh, we've checked her credit reports. There's nothing. And ever since then, Louise has continuously received notices with increasing amounts. You can see what a powerful lever this could be on frail older people uh, because uh, they keep saying, it's not me, it's not me. But every month or so, uh, it metastasizes to a much larger amount. And at some point, I have to imagine that a lot of old people just kind of cave in and pay it. So her son John decided to give the company a call only to have the suspicion pointed back at them. They said, well, uh, if you want to prove that this isn't you, please send us a police report saying that Louise's identity has been stolen. But the Clarks don't believe that's the case. We've checked her bank records. We've checked her cards. We've checked the credit bureaus. It's all untrue. In addition to that, the copy of the promissory note they received from the company had blank spots and a typed signature rather than Louise's real one. You can imagine if, if you're 98 and dealing with being 98, uh, this is not the kind of thing you want in your life. Scams like this aren't new, targeting old folks specifically. Sometimes these older people can get confused and end up paying money that they didn't owe. Despain says the best way is to contact the Federal Trade Commission as scammers like these are hard to physically track down. If you haven't taken out a loan, uh, then you should try to get the phone number of the person who's calling you, uh, write it down, hang up and call the FTC and report it. Now, scams like this could just be a fake company trying to get your money, but it could also be a strong indicator that your identity has been stolen. If you have any suspicions, call the loan company first to report the fraud and then call the FTC or credit bureaus to monitor your account.